Hey guys, if you're a state trooper here in Texas and you got a bike, you like don't mess around. <laughs> They're motorcycle cops, if you will, or state troopers, have AR 15s and our radar gun mounted. Like, look, don't mess with Texas, is the message here. What is up 3% and welcome to volume number 54 of watching politically incorrect videos with me, Joey Valentine. Most of you probably noticed that last week's show got pulled, I accidentally showed somebody's butt cheeks, and I got busted for showing naughty pictures. Fear not, I've taken the class, learned my lesson, and I'm here to bring you nothing but good, wholesome, non-offensive, not racist humor. Yes, yeah, psych, I'm still gonna do what I do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join the coolest gang on the internet, the 3%. Without further ado, let's get to the debauchery. <laughs> Did bro just drift in a horse-drawn wagon? <laughs> Ezekiel, you cannot drift in this thing. Hold my butter churn. Jebediah, cometh over and I will show thee my ankles. Make haste, buttercup. <laughs> this is the first person to ever drift with one horsepower. Fast and the religious, Amish drift. Here's a whole new meaning to letting Jesus take the wheel. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Jesus. Uh, you did. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one, right? Yeah, I'm doing the show. All right, you too. Hey, 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 go the police. This has to be in Texas. Yeah, that's pretty much how I imagined cyclists would fight. <laughs> Big ol' <laughs> This dude has more testosterone than all these cyclists combined. I hate these people with their stupid helmets and their spiky shoes. They get off their bike and carry it and you can hear their shoes crunching in the gravel. I do not understand the obsession cyclists have with saying they have the same rights as automobiles. Look, you also have the right to dangle your testicles over the running blades of a blender, but that doesn't mean you should do it. I just can't understand how in like the history of cycling, you know, between water breaks or being taunted by small children, one of them didn't stop and say, bro, we look really gay, like really gay. Maybe we should wear some cargo shorts or something, some loose fitting shirts, I don't know. So ever since I posted the video about being a big rack and getting bent over, I've gotten so many comments and DMs talking about like, oh, I can show you a good time or give me a shot. Let me shoot my shot, which is cool. You know, you miss 100% 100 of the shots you don't take. With that being said, I'm a single mom. Be original. Come at me crazy. Come at me like, hey, girl, here's $100 for your light bill. Like, be outside of the box. Like, don't, don't come at me with the like, oh, I can show you a good time. <laughs> F you. Like, come at me correct. Or don't come at me at all. Flashback, we've had this girl on before. Let me show you. Secondly, I may have a big back, baby, but guess what? This big back still gets bent over. And honestly, it's probably by your daddy. Ugh. First off, let's not kid ourselves. There is no bending. It's probably more like a full plank on a big mattress. Secondly, why would I want to pay your light bill when I'm going to want the lights off? And giving you $100 is not going to your light bill. You want me to come at you with something original? Okay, let's go for a walk. When they order, bus around for a Temu, 
But I don't shop there. But I look at me, yes, man. A lot of money in you, yo. I'm broke, I'm hard for it, but I'm a mother trying to hurt me some more and give me pain. Look, I'm pain, baby. I got muscle for real. Stop playing with my top like that, boy. I'm a real Florida boy. I fly to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, what? I'm a clean you. No, boy. <laughs> Another repeat offender on my show. I swear one day I am going to do an entire episode just on this guy. I found his Instagram and there are hundreds of videos of him talking nonsense like this and he lets all the comments get approved. Like he never takes any of them down. He never responds to them. He just lets people clown him all day on the internet and it is just incredible. It's one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen and I want to do an entire show on him. but. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I have to censor this guy or not because I can't tell if he's swearing or not. <laughs> but anyway, it's my turn to clown him now. People, you've really got to learn the importance of pulling out. This looks like Eminem impregnated the Island Boys. If the auto captioning were used on this, it would look like somebody took both hands and mashed them on the keyboard. Remember when we were younger and radio stations had tuning knobs and you could like try and find a station? That's what this guy sounds like when he talks. This, this is the result of the war on drugs and the drugs won the war. Now you might think this is funny, but these signs wouldn't be necessary if someone hadn't already done these things. More than once. So many times, in fact, that it required someone to draw up a sign, someone else to have that sign made, and someone to hang it up. Honestly, if a guy could take a whiz like this and he can make it into the urinal, he should totally be allowed to do it. I actually speak Chinese, so allow me to translate. Okay, we see you, you go pee. You pee like normal person. Uh, no pee with your bounce. No putting your rag up on the wall. And no peeing over your head. <laughs> oh, Roy Armstrong. <laughs> How come you haven't gotten up yet? I'm waiting, Steffi. Oh, what, uh, when did that happen? Did it happen during the night? Or did it just happen now? Do you know? Um, no. Well, if you're sticky, maybe it was a wet dream. Do you know what a wet dream is? No. Well, you know, how old are you now? You're, you must be about, uh... The counselor shows a calm, accepting approach to this boy who has just had a wet dream. The counselor? Scolding or recrimination. The boy is not frightened, and there is no reason for him to feel guilty. Frank, I'm sure you understand uh, just what happened, and uh, that this is probably going to happen quite a few times more, like it does to everybody else, and it's quite normal, right? Mm -hmm. I think the best thing we can do now is to show you how to clean it up. Okay? Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> what? That conversation should have ended like 90 seconds ago. <laughs> Why is the counselor in his bedroom? What the hell's going on? No, 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 I do not want you to help me clean up. You know what? I'm going to do my version of this video and it will be what would actually have taken place. Hey, champ, you doing okay? I had a dream. It's all wet and sticky. Well, that's normal, Joseph. You had a wet dream, and you're gonna have many more. You wanna talk about it? No, not really. Oh, come on, you'll feel better. Tell me about it. Um, will you please get the hell out of my room? Seriously, get out before I lose my ability to have an erection. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. You're my counselor! Why are you even in my house? 
Ah, I remember my first wet dream. Two midgets and an assortment of wooden spoons. Whew, I woke up soaked. Mom! I gotta tell you, it was sticky. I was like a fire hydrant. Goosh! And the thing is, I was so big, yet those two dwarfs could take it all. It was everywhere! I must have been sleepwalking because I woke up with my dick stuck in the waffle iron. Then my mom came in, started slipping and sliding all over the wet I'd left on the floor. It was embarrassing. Didn't think I'd ever recover, but, you know, you do. You know? You soldier on. So, is this, is this where they're made? Did you see the drive-by? They're getting stealthy. Strangely enough, the water is not on. I could make the obvious joke about going down the slide, but I'm better than that. Slow ride. <laughs> Take it easy. Down in a hole. <laughs> I'm not starting with you, but I need you to listen to me. What? Don't if you're gonna. That water daycare. Don't be pulling it down on the staff or the clients. I'm not. Okay, it's for props only. I'm not taking it. She said, "Don't take out your prop gun." My man dressed like a vato. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna let a grown man with Down syndrome dress like a Mexican gangster take a prop gun to what I guess is adult daycare? And you're giggling about it? This man's going to be killed! He must have an extra cholozome. I love how she says, don't pull that out of daycare. Like, you know damn well that's exactly what he's going to do. He's a member of MS-13. Extra chromosomes. <laughs> He's not making grilled cheese, he's making grilled quesadillas. Jesus Christ, call an exorcist. Grandpa's spewing out of both ends. Dude's been holding that in since the First World War. <laughs> Man, barbershops in Thailand are really weird. Garage door. <laughs> oh, nothing like a good old bull fart. I just love that poo. <laughs> poo. Okay, when she was planning this, did she not <laughs> never take into account that he was going to come in and drop a deuce? I mean, at what point was she planning on jumping out at her husband and scaring him? Did you think he was coming home from work straight to the bathroom to brush his teeth? Damn, Unk's got an ass like auntie. <laughs> My man has some serious cake. He is caked up. Both just leaning on the fence. Props to that fence builder. There is not going to be a foot chase. You will be shot in the back. <laughs> this school must be hard up for money because they got the lunch lady pulling double duty. <laughs> Your mama got an afro with a chin strap. <laughs> oh man.
Okay, I'm not thinking about the fall. I'm wondering how the hell did he get to the top? If the video had kept rolling, we would have seen him fall through the crust of the earth. I, I, <laughs> I like how he tried to pull his shirt down at the end. Like, that's the moment he lost his dignity. These Pentecostal churches are always so weird. Remember that cartoon where like five robot lions came together to form one large man? Maybe these all combined to form one big down syndrome person with super strength. Looking like Sid's toys from Toy Story. <laughs> I am never ordering Halloween decorations from Timu ever again. <laughs> Bro, if I knew I could order something that did that, my yard would be lined with them. <laughs> my neighbors would be like, you need to stay away from that house. Well, they already do that, actually. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> Okay, but why the hell is she whipping him? Hot milk and a whip unlocked a whole new level of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh, wait, I get it. She's making whipped cream. Whipped cream, ladies and gentlemen. Whipped cream. You know, I never cared for the Mexican version of Passion of the Christ. Wait a minute, bro has clothespins holding his pants up. That's like a whole new level of poverty. That's why grandma's giving him lashes. <laughs> Milk ain't cheap. I'm sorry, folks, but unfortunately, this is where the ride comes to an end. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on Rubble for the uncensored version of this video. And I also do a podcast every Monday that is extremely uncensored. Was that too gay? Did I sound too gay saying it like that? And now I leave you with your moment of delete India. America and the rest of you monsters, I love you. Would you like to have some doo-doo soup? I made a sandwich with cow poop. Don't worry about the flies and ants. You're about to shit right in your pants. India, India, where hygiene never matters. India, India, you're sure to get the splatters. Eat all of our food if you truly dare. But you better bring an extra pair of underwear. La 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 la. A strong goo. Look at it. Would you like to have some doo doo soup? I made a sandwich with cow poop. Don't worry about the flies and ants. You're about to shit right in your pants. <laughs>